in Jesus and nothing happening. Because we're not calling the right Jesus. We are not referring to the Jesus of the Bible or the logos. some of y'all. But we're going to break it right now. Amen. The Holy Ghost don't frustrate no one. No. Right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost ain't the one you go home frustrated. Uh-uh. You want to know who Jesus Christ is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Especially if you believe in only one God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And really that's a different topic all by itself because of the oneness of God. Amen. Because a lot of times we say we believe in one God, we believe in one Baptist, one Jesus, one. But yet we can't offend the faith. We don't have the evidence that backs up my belief. Oh my God, amen. It's one thing to say you believe. Amen. It's another thing to back up the evidence why you believe it. Hallelujah. And this is why a lot of times that most people say, I'm apostolic, I'm a Pentecostal, I'm a for Jesus, a Jesus only. My God. And they really can't represent the Jesus only that they say they are part of. Mm. Because they don't know it. Yeah. They cannot explain the Godhead. Oh, but yet at the same time they say Jesus Christ is God. I baptize in Jesus' name. Amen. And everything will be alright. Everything is not going to be alright if you've been baptized in Jesus' name. It's the right way. But it don't change your problem. Amen. Who was water baptized in Jesus' mighty name? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. It's the right name. But after you came out of water, all your problems gone away. No, no. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. It's going to take the knowledge of Jesus. Amen. The knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's what open up your eyes. Yes. Amen. That's why we have so much people in, ch in church that saying Jesus only, Jesus only, Jesus only, Jesus only. And can't offend the faith. Why you think that Jesus is the only way to be baptized? Why you shouldn't a man be baptized in Jesus? Because the Bible says that. Where the Bible says that? Somewhere in the Bible. <laughs> My God. You're not a good witness in Because a witness is one who records. You have to record the truth. So now you can bear witness to the truth. Amen. And you can back it up with scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How a believer, an unbeliever, can believe what you say when you have no evidence. My God. Then you want to get mad because they don't believe. Don't get mad. Present the evidence. Amen. Amen. You present the evidence and let them see the evidence. Hallelujah. They can't deny, hey, it's the word of God. Amen. I cannot fight against them. But they can fight against you. Especially when they don't see no evidence. Amen. Go ahead. Verse 15. He said unto them, But who say he that I am? Uh -huh. And Simon Peter answered and said, Who did, who? In other words, Jesus bring the crest in whom? Who means those who was walking with him, those who eat with him. Those who sleep the same place he slept. And Jesus said, Now, nah, who do you say that I am? You see, you told me what they were saying, and some of them was preparing me with natural man with them ready there, and then he came back. What is your knowledge of me and what he says? Thou art the Christ. You heard it? Not Jesus. Thou art the Christ, keep in mind, it is the spirit of Christ that backs up the name Jesus. Amen. Well, this, do you, the spirit of Christ is what backs up the name Jesus. That's what separates Jesus of the Bible from any other Jesus who only had the name but don't have the spirit. The spirit of Christ, the word Christ means the anointed and the anointed one. The anointed.
it, it went back to the name Jesus. So now I I have to understand if the devil will flee, I got to know who Jesus Christ is in order for the demon to flee. Not just saying Jesus, Jesus, but I under I have to understand the power that this Jesus has displayed in the scripture. Going back to the word. <laughs> and so when I say Jesus, I'm saying Jesus based on the revelation that I know of him. So he says now, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Again, the son of the living God. Equal with God. Hallelujah. The son of the living God makes Jesus equal with God. Go ahead. Answered and said unto, the, unto him, uh -huh. Blessed art thou, Simon Bar Jonah, mm -hmm. for flesh and blood have not revealed it to thee. And Jesus said, Blessed thou, Simon Bar Jonah, for flesh in blood has not revealed it unto me. So let's break it down. It means that before. Jesus asked the Christ, and no one knew who he was. John the Baptist, amen, was the only prophet that uh, identified him, amen, in the river of Jordan when Jesus was, when Jesus came to be baptized of John. And John recognized that this was Jesus. And John says, Behold, the he did behold he that, he that take away the sins of the world that means look at him behold him not me behold him that's the one who take away the sins of this world because John the Baptist had a revelation about Jesus and that revelation only begun because that's the second time that John the Baptist in in Congo with God. The first time is when Mary and Elizabeth, hallelujah, Mary was pregnant and her cousin Elizabeth was also pregnant. But the Bible says, amen, uh, uh, Elizabeth was more pregnant than Mary. That means she was a man, hallelujah, glory be to God, was, was a man, maybe she was close of giving birth to John the Baptist. And the Bible declared that when Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth, the Bible says now the two, the two cousins in the womb, unconscious in the womb, because when you was a child, you're unconscious, you don't know what's going on. Even though your, your mind is unconscious, but your spirit is conscious. Because the spirit has no age. Uh, the spirit has no age. Hallelujah. And when they cling together, the Bible says the unconscious John that was in the womb of Elizabeth, his mom, began to kick her. Hallelujah. That means the unconscious John connect with the of the Holy Ghost, the God, amen, came to him. That's the first encounter that, amen, that John had with Jesus. The first encounter was, amen, when he was in his mother's womb. He began to kick. Maybe Elizabeth didn't lose him feeling no movement. Hallelujah, but when Jesus came, hallelujah, both of them is in the womb of their mother. Hallelujah, unconscious. Hallelujah, but spiritually, there was a connection. Hallelujah, and the, amen, and the unconscious John, who was in the mother's, his mother's womb, begin to kick her out alive now. Hallelujah, life came to me. Hallelujah, and the second time is when John saw Jesus in the river of John to be baptized. He says, Behold, the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah so that was revelation of that John began to know that this is Jesus Christ uh, and if you begin to read John he get locked up in prison Amen. He begin to come, you know, to preach, and he begin to say.